Hello everyone, this video is about the advanced Android X3060 installer. In this video, I'll try to show you how simply you can install almost any Android X3060 operating system, which includes Phonix OS, Prime OS, Resource, Remix OS, etc. So, without wasting any more time, let's hop into the main topic. At first, you're gonna need the advanced uh, Android X3060 installer executable. As you see, I already have it here. If you don't, then check the video description, you should find it there. So, just simply open it and once it's running, click on next. And now it should ask you to <coughs> select an operating system, Android x 60 operating system ISO file or archive that you have, which you want to install into your computer. So click on yes and then select your desired Android x 60 operating system. So for demonstration purposes, I'll be um, using maybe Linezos, I guess. So this is the Linezos ISO file, as you see. Oh, the name is quite big actually. <laughs> yes, I'll just select it. Um, so now as you see, we are on this installation configuration screen. Here you can specify or change some of the options as per your need. Here you can see we have two input fields called name and version. You can specify any name and version in here. That will help you when you need to install multiple Android x 60 operating system in the same machine. And here we have a bunch of checkboxes. I prefer that you leave this as is and you might wanna check the last option which is named as download latest jirap twin so it will get the latest jirap twin bootloader from the internet instead of using the offline version of it which was pre-packed with this installer so it's better to get the latest version always so i'm preferring this finally as you see that we have two big big buttons up there one is htfs or ext file system and the other one is called other fs or other file system now you might be wondering which one to click on um, so this other fs button means uh, any of the file systems among ntfs pair 32 but except ext type ones this installation option is slightly simpler on the other hand we have this ext fs button you should know that Android runs over Linux kernel and any Linux based operating system prefer itself to install over an ext type file system which lets the Linux kernel run optimally. So yes, this is the file system option I prefer to use but yet this one could get a bit troublesome for some personal computers since it involves installing ext file system drivers. Ok so here we go, as you see it's about to install ext file system drivers now it should take a couple of seconds i guess okay so it's done since i'm showing the ext file system installation option so we're gonna need to create an ext4 partition for that click on this button and it should start the partitioning tool right in a few seconds okay so it has started I'll just maximize it okay so as you see in the bottom i already have a bunch of partitions including hd4 ones but just to show you i'll be demonstrating uh, the way of resizing a partition so now i'll resize this partition of mine right click on your desired partition and then select move or resize after that um, just for your information you should uh, you need a new partition with about 10 gigs of space and that should be enough but you can make a bigger one also if you like by the way here you can see the increment of your new partition size ok let's do it here we have a 10 gb size partition and go to it and once you are satisfied with your partition size click on ok and now we have the unallocated empty partition 
right click on the new another page empty partition and then select the file system as 64 now you might wanna uh, give it a label like for example I'll just call it Android x 60 and then ok after that simply click on apply and the resizing operation should get started we need to wait uh, maybe a minute or two and it should be done ok so the job is done simply close the partition window and hit next you will see it's trying to mount your x partitions it should take a few seconds and then it's almost done ok so it's telling me if you can't find your x partitions then you must restart and try again yes that's right if you can't find them then you need to restart because sometimes windows and acts like faulty and restarting solves the issue so just simply select a data image size for me and just select 4 GB and then select your newly created HD4 partition or your partition of choice in case if you are using the other face option so this is the partition HD4 partition that I made earlier so everything looks ok here um, click on next now finally click on install as you see the installation has started right now it's installing zero to in put loader spread that one by one it will install all your files putting system files i mean now if you don't or i mean if you get a lot of warnings during the installation process that might be because your ht4 file system wasn't mounted as read and write for that reason you should try to re uh, reboot your windows and try again ok so it should take maybe 2 or 3 minutes I'll be back after that ok so as you see the installation is finally done and we are good to go now all I've got to do is reboot and you should find yourself in the new zero to bootloader from there you should be able to select your operating system and that's it ok so have fun and if you find this very helpful then you should know what to do right <laughs> ok so take care and bye bye this is the bonus part um, in this bonus part I will tell you about uh, a special thing which is there are some android x 60 operating systems which includes this advanced android x 60 installer inside their iso file so for that case you won't be needing to externally download the windows installer or the advanced android x 60 installer which we speak of so let me show you how to do that uh, so as you can see this is the dark matter x 4.7 iso it has the advanced android x 60 installer executable inside it uh, if we open it with 7-zip you can see that as you see the installer is inside the ISO so if you directly want to use it without extracting it you have to right click on the ISO file to check if the ISO has advanced android x 60 installer uh, hover on open with and then select Windows Explorer. And now it should uh, get mounted as a virtual DVD drive. As you see, the installer is here. Simply open it like before, and this time it don't ask you to select the ISO file because it will already detect the operating system files in this folder. As you see, if I click on Next, it will directly uh, auto detect the files and the rest of the installation process will be exactly the same okay thank you again and bye <laughs>